ah, no, any remote, no, Jesus put it there. But a kiki, on a two hours, and you're a chimney to us, I Satawala is confused, but me, I know music. On one cassette on the boxes in route three, Abi. Satawale, I never heard of bandana, no. He has been in the music industry for over 20 years. He came in, he struggled, he went out, he learned. Now, he is the most sought after musician in Ghana. When you go out and you Google Ghana, now Google Beyonce, the only name that will pop up is Shatawale and Beyonce. He has made fortunes. He has used his career to fight for something nobody has been able to fight for. Musicians to get something better out of their cre- cre- trade or their creativity or their talent. He has stood by it. He has made sure that every single musician will at least earn something from what they are doing. Shatawale put out about five, six points. Then we get a young man who has like three boxer shorts. Per diem in tete gana na obekoda ben o tena meba. Come sit on TV and say I am foolishly sitting on UTV why? Shatawale is confused why? Because he talked about Jenna. But Shatawale was talking about a whole lot of things. Now, the simple the simplest question to ask is what is your identity as a Ghanaian musician? Do you have an identity? What we are talking about here you might agree or disagree but the issue is do you have an identity when you step out of ghana are you going to call yourself an afro pop artist are you going to call yourself as a hip-hop artist what is your identity because when Bernard boy steps out and he's asked what you do he can say what he does when when greg uh, when 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 damien mali steps out of jamaica and he goes out to perform he can tell you his identity his identity will show you where he's coming from and the kind of music he does you Ghanaian musicians, where is your identity and what is your identity? That is what the, the basic question Shatawale is asking. It's basic. So if you don't have an identity, how can you call yourself that you will be more important to get lucrative deals? I heard people, that clown saying that, yes, and that you we don't have uh, good producers. The issue is two players from different continents are sold in different prices because of what? You cannot buy a player from Brazil and a player from Ghana. Let me tell you for a fact. When you go on the world market, it doesn't matter how bad the Brazilian plays. So he will be so expensive than the Ghana player. You know why? Because there is an identity with that player. You can say, of Brazil, no, but. And you can say, where if we Ghana, the two people, no, it doesn't matter whether the Ghanaian player is better than him. He's coming with an identity. We know Brazilians groom better players. That is what Shatawale is telling you people. Let's go with an identity. We have no identity. Who in Europe and America knows about high life? My foot. Nobody knows about high life. So force it and let people understand. Then you get these clowns who eat breadcrumbs because the host too is dumb. Does not rehearse and read and understand what they are going to discuss. They make fools around TVs and then they exhibit their ignorance. I didn't try. Me boxes here for me call party. And I mean, yeah, service living your mother die. I am a music pundit. I am an entertainment pundit. So foolishness is growing through our end music industry. That is why today you see people sitting on Instagram, musician in Ghana, begging people to go and watch his video because, because they have not been able to show the world who they are. That is simple. We foolishly sit there and spend three hours. And young boys who have no jobs, young boys who have not seen real life, who have not come into the mill. When was the last time you came to America to see that musicians are judging music, the music industry, and they have gone to bring a colorful boy to come and sit in? What is your track record? What do you know? You need to be in the industry. You need to have experience. You need to be able to speak. That's why when I saw that clown, a cheap chicken like that trying to insult Hama. I said, you people are destroying your own industry because you have allowed chicken feet. You have allowed Ingrid, dirty riffraffs who at the end of the day beg for transport to survive to infiltrate acting as if they are pundits. They are not. They are hungry men, hungry young boys, 90 old kids, 90, 90s kids. Stupidly sit on TV and think because they don't get any intelligent person to be on the platform with them for some time. They are smart. No. Jimmy. Too many things 